Deadly disease killing millions of bats all across the country, and now a team from a local university is trying to keep it from spreading. It's called White Nose Syndrome. News 8's Ken Pierce live in New Haven on the southern campus with a look at what they're doing about it. Ken. And Keith, there was a time when the little brown bat was as common in New England as, well, the house mouse. But then came along this fungal disease found in caves and has almost wiped those bats out. Now researchers here at Southern Connecticut State University are giving those bats a new option. Instead of the fungal infected, infected caves, they can live in one of these fungus-free bat houses. There's a lab at Southern Connecticut State University that looks a lot like the set of a scary movie, but the only thing scary here is what they're researching, white nose syndrome in bats. It is a fungus, and it's in these caves and mines that bats are hibernating in. And once the bat enters the cave for the winter months, they become infected with this fungus. Then they die within a couple months. White nose in those caves has already killed an estimated 7 million bats, and getting them out of those caves is tough. They naturally will choose a cave. A cave is, is a happy place to spend the winter. Um, so if we could perhaps mimic those conditions or find a way to alleviate the, the spread of this disease, I think would be helpful. That's what this does. It looks like a box in a tree. It's actually a bat house, custom built by student and researcher Chris Wisniewski. Inside is uh, grooves in the wood. It allows the bats to latch on and kind of crawl up into the house itself and, and roost. Now you may be thinking, why do I care about the bat population? Bats are those icky things terrorizing people in horror movies. Well, of course, that's not true. It turns out bats are actually one of nature's best mosquito hunters. So if you're tired of doing this all summer long, that's why you want bats around. Chris built three bat houses and put them up around Southern's campus, near water and meadows with plenty of mosquitoes. We have two of the smaller houses, which can hold about a dozen or so bats, and then we have the big maternity colony, which can hold about 150 bats. That's just a fraction of what's needed to save a species that used to be all over Connecticut. A dime a dozen, they're everywhere, very, very common. But this once very common species, within a few years, is now endangered and likely will be extinct. Now, to keep that from happening, they'd like to see more people put up bat houses like these. The three on the southern campus have been up for a few weeks now. So far, no bats have moved in just yet, but they're hoping that they will before the winter hibernation season. Live in New Haven at the southern campus, I'm Kent Pierce. Back to you.